Hey guys, welcome home to beautiful Kennesaw, Georgia. Has some brand new homes out here, you know, always trying to find you guys some of the best deals, resales and new homes. And I know a lot of our clients like to build from the ground up or take advantage of some standing inventory. This is their model home. Uh, I think they have a couple standing inventory that I'm gonna do videos of. Price point. Now, something like this, this is on a basement. This is their model home, obviously, three-car garage, blown up, the upgrades, cover back porch, stuff like that. Probably approaching around 700 range. Um, if you don't build it out with crazy upgrades, you could probably be in the high sixes. Most of the homes in here on a slab are going to be um, from the, uh, I would say, 500s. Um, some of the basements you could possibly build from the upper uh, 500s. And, uh, but mostly expect to be in the sixes for uh, basements. So let's go take a look. Uh, but I think you're going to be blown away by the quality of the, um, of the features of the home. So you can see uh, some flagstone uh, for the steps here. Gives you exactly what you'd expect for Southern Living, the beautiful front porch. You can see covered front porch, which it comes standard with the elevation. I like the mixture of brick and stone. Love, love, love this front door. Uh, I think most of them I saw had it, so like a cedar front door. All right, let's go take a look. Uh, I just did a quick walk with the on-site agent to get a feel for the you know material and the layout, so I could give you guys a good tour. And I think you're going to be super, super impressed. All right, when you first come in, you have a big two-story foyer area, wrought iron spindles very wide um, hallway tons of wall space to work with as you can see wrapped all the way around now over here on the left they decided to make it into a home office but it could be bedroom number five down here um, but they're showing you with the glass doors i actually like it a lot like a lot of people including myself and kurt we work from home so with the coronavirus going on it's going to be a while i think until people feel comfortable going back into the office so this is a great uh, use of space um, overlooking your front porch. Now, again, if you need that fifth bedroom, this also comes with a full uh, bathroom down here. And as you can see, it's a really nice full bathroom. It has the um, tile and the uh, bench, beautiful tile work, granite countertops, white cabinets, your toilet. What I've noticed about every room is so spacious. Don't you hate when you walk into a room and it's like, oh, that closet is super small or the bathrooms, the toilet feels like it's right up against the um, the cabinet. Not gonna get that in this um, this floor plan. This is, this is their Washington floor plan, by the way. Before we go into the other areas, I wanna show you, this is where you come in through your three car uh, garage. This is probably extra, like a built-in bench. Um, those are the type of things where you might be able to save some money. But again, it's not for somebody, I'm trying to stay in the, um, you know, 400s. Nope, it's for a 500s to 700s um, home buyer. So you have to be well qualified. They will give you $10,000 towards your closing costs when you use one of their preferred lenders. If you're buying a standing inventory home, there's a better chance that I can get you things like blinds, maybe the refrigerator, washer and dryer, stuff like that. If you're motivated, if you're ready to go. Look at just the open space as you head into the dining room, beautiful coffered ceilings. How about a, um, a built-in wet bar, which is absolutely beautiful. Cabinets up to the top there. I mean, just take a step back, right? The wall windows. What a great area to have Sunday dinner, Thanksgivings, holidays. Just absolutely beautiful. And if you notice, again, look how wide the hallways are. All right, let's start looking at some of the more important rooms in the house, obviously the family room. Um, I believe she said that the, the built-ins here are actually standard. These uh, beams, the coffered ceilings are standard. Um, obviously certain areas where there's hardwoods will probably be upgrades. I would expect you probably get carpet in here, but I think it's worth the upgrade on here. But beautiful area. Obviously you could put your flat screen TV, 
Uh, I have to see, I think this is a gas fireplace or gas starter fireplace. Yeah, I see the gas line there, but beautiful, beautiful area. Let's wrap it around. And one of the best kitchen layouts that I've come across. Um, first, you have a kitchen that area. You could decide if you want to cap this off, make it a open space, but I really like it for another eating area. This uh, island size is standard, she said. So look at the added cabinets underneath. Fits four bar stools, no problem. Um, where you get into upgrades, if you start doing like marble and quartz and stuff like that, that's where you could kind of really see the price going up. Uh, but beautiful backsplash, you got a five burner gas cooktop, the beautiful KitchenAid stainless steel vent hood. You have the microwave inside of the island, beautiful farmer's sink. You probably get standard to stainless steel and the um, dishwasher comes with it. The double ovens comes with it. And of course, if you want to do an upgrade to add the refrigerator, again, if it's standing inventory, I may be able to get that included. It's 2% of the sales price to start building. So if you're looking at 600,000, multiply that by 0.02. If you're looking at 700,000, 0.02, and that's what it costs to get going. Not bad. Because at this price point, you're probably putting anywhere, I say most likely five or 10% down. You could always go 20, but expect to put five or 10% down. Now here's an awesome little build out area. Again, you had the home office. So if you did want to convert that to the fifth bedroom, you could see you still have, can do a home office over here. Look at this. Look at the beautiful pantry. I mean, if you have any problems stacking your flowers, cereals, anything like that, um, then I can't imagine what your food and uh, budget is and your grocery bill is. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Let's look at the outside porch. Of course, the covered part will be an upgrade. That's something we did to our house as well, but I think it's really, really well worth the investment. It gives you like a roof line. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful lot that they built on for the model. Um, staircase going down, you know, to your backyard. You could kind of see how they do the houses um, on basements. So the water table, brick or stone. Beautiful wood a lot. Uh, just imagining grilling out here, having family gatherings and all that good stuff. Walking in and just taking a look at this view going into your kitchen. Pretty amazing. And again, your family room. All right, what do you say we go upstairs and then we'll finish just showing the size of the basement to finish down the road. I just love it has a lot of features that people are looking for. A home office space, covered um, back patio, two-story foyer, huge kitchen space. You get to the top here. Let's start looking at some bedrooms. First, look how wide the hallways are. You could do another table, console table, statues, um, great area for that. Have kind of like a little catwalk area overlooking again at the front downstairs. And I think you'll be super impressed by the size of these bedrooms. This could be technically bedroom number two, but we're going to call it bedroom number one because they converted that to a study home office. But could be bedroom number two, but this is bedroom number one for this tour. And again, if you buy one of their standing inventories, I may be able to get you the blinds too. That could save you thousands of dollars. Some people do like build from the ground up too, to pick out everything. So this bedroom has its own bathroom. Not bad, right? For a guest suite, teenager suite. Guys, this is the secondary bedroom. Walk-in closet, its own bathroom, choosing the tile. Pretty amazing. This is, like I said, if you don't need the basement, basements are going to run you about $65,000. Now, if you want it, if you've got the money, if you want to push it into the sixes and sevens, then by all means, because when you go to finish that basement, it's going to give you great value. But if you don't need it, look at all this space. This is the washroom, guys. So you have the sink, cabinetry all the way to the ceiling. Look at the tile work. I'm going to finish off with the master. That's the master. I like that this has like a separate wing for bedrooms two and three. Again, look at the size. Beautiful 
Got a nice window in here. I mean, you take a step back, just that little indentation gives it even more size. Walk-in closet. What they call a Jack and Jill bathroom. So this one has its own um, vanity, which is mirror, um, cabinets, sink, brush your teeth, wash your face, stuff like that. But then you have the privacy door. So these two bedrooms are going to share this bathroom. This is the area where, you know, you could use the bathroom alone. You could take your shower in the morning. And it's great typically for like teenagers or you, if you have two kids, you know, where you, they both can basically have their space, their own bedroom, but um, have some privacy and then shut the door for the shower and toilet area. This is showing it as um, two twin beds. But the size of the room, again, guys, another walk-in closet. So if you happen to have twins, if you have nieces and nephews that come to town, uh, you want them to share a bedroom, you have an extra bedroom. This would be perfect for that. All right, let's finish off with the master, uh, on this level, the master bedroom. Double door, dramatic. Double vanity, I mean, double um, tray ceilings. See how it goes up twice huge wall there to work with and then your sitting room very important to a lot of people especially if you're gonna you know spend at this price point not all the floor plans had a sitting room but they also have various other features that you might like but this is obviously a very very popular floor plan because you see the size of the extra bedrooms potentially a five bedroom here's the sitting area beautiful i mean you could just imagine right I wouldn't leave the house for quite a while. <laughs> Some people might even make that their home office. Wow, I did not get the chance to see the bathroom. This is stunning. So you have two vanity sinks. Look at the size of this soaking tub. But that's not it. Whoa, whoa, moment of silence. Love, love, love. Frameless glass, just that one strip at the top. Shower heads, two shower heads. Love that tile at the base and the overextended one. Whoo, this is nice. Look at the size. Walk in closet number one. There's two walk in closets. Wraps all the way around. So you can see, guys, this is obviously the Mac Daddy of all the upgrades and stuff like that. But I don't know about you, if you're coming from an L.A., a New York, a Chicago, a Philadelphia, this amount of space for even in the 700s is absolutely incredible. And it just depends on how many upgrades you do. Like I said, you're probably in the sixes and the sevens on basements. You might be able to get onto a smaller floor plan um, that they have on the basement for the high fives. But again... You know you're going to want to put in upgrades and stuff like that. And then let's just show you what a finished basement, an unfinished basement looks like. But look at how high the ceilings are going to be. So that person that wants to do, let's see if I can find a light. Which way? Which way would it be? Over here. Um, another bedroom. If you didn't want, if you wanted to make that other one the fifth bedroom, I mean, this could be an amazing home office space. Let's go to this side of the house. Amazing. How about a movie theater room? How about a second kitchen? How about another bedroom? Um, so you potentially could have six or seven bedrooms out of this house or five or six if you make that the study. This is where your plumbing for another bathroom is. And uh, another area maybe for a kitchen. Uh, or a home gym on this side. So guys, Kennesaw, Georgia, one of the best areas to live in greater Atlanta. These are going to be priced from the fives on slabs to most likely sixes and sevens um, on basements. 2% of the sales price to construct a house, go under contract, start building. And I'm going to go look at the standing inventory because some people need to move in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. And if you want a brand new home with all the warranties and all that, We'll get you as much incentives as we can. All right, guys, make it a great day. On to the next one. Talk to you soon.